In today's video on astrology, Libra, what motivates the scales? Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. If this is your first time here, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing, like, comment, or share if so inclined. If you're coming back, thanks once again for your attention. Today's video is Libra. Please check out my first Libra video. So let's talk about the decans or decanates of Libra. So there's three main periods. So for September 25th to October 2nd, this is the first period of Libra. These are Venus ruled Librans and also the sub ruler is Venus. So this is two times Venus people. Venus one people tend to be somewhat perfectionistic. They like to line things up and balance things up just so. And it's a little different than a perfectionism that you might find in like Virgo. Virgo being earth and mutable. Virgo is into all the little minutia and details. With Libra, Libra ones, it's, it's more harmonic and cosmic and they like things to line up in the bigger scheme of things. They see a balance between themselves and the other and they like to line that up just so balancing their needs with others needs. Now Librans in the first period here are very attractive because of the Venus and then the sub ruler just reinforces the attractiveness that's both inside and out. So a Libran one person is the opposite of an Aries one which starts spring. So Aries one people are very childlike and fiery. So a Libra one person being opposite is sort of an inverted version of Aries. So the Libra one person is not fiery necessarily. They can be assertive, they can even be aggressive, but it's in a more cool manner and a more refined or even suave manner, if you will. Famous people like Sting, who I mentioned in my first Libra video, Gandhi, Christopher Reeve, Bridget Bardot, Groucho Marx, George Gershwin. These are all Libra One people and they all displayed a certain amount of perfectionism and exacting qualities to have their art just so. The misfire with all this Libra and Venus energy is indecision. Now I mentioned in my first Libra video that Librans are not necessarily indecisive by nature and it shouldn't be a blanket statement used for all Librans. Librans are always trying to figure out where they fit in with all the angles of a situation. So if there's 10 different viewpoints in the room, Libra's gonna listen to every viewpoint and then they're gonna listen to their own and they're gonna continue to balance back and forth and teeter-totter where the happy medium is. The danger lies in when they don't make a decision, even if they're decisive in their mind, they don't make a decision because they want to avoid discord or conflict. And they can be somewhat repressed in that way and they can be held back. So if a Libran person is very decisive in their mind and wants to express their view, but doesn't because of a fear of disharmony, they can be repressed and reserved and sort of their real personality and motives can be hidden. So it's important for Libra One people to try to be decisive, try to be a little more clear and direct like Aries with your thinking and your views, and sometimes take a risk to make that decision. October 3rd to the 10th is the second decanate of Libra. The second decanate of Libra gives a ruler of Venus with the subruler of Uranus. So the subruler of Uranus meeting up with Venus for Libra 2 people makes Librans very up to date and sort of hip. And they can be very insightful with that Aquarian influence, especially with group or community ideas and motives. Libran 2 people are both very social and also loners by nature. They can be very instrumental in groups in being social with the Venus and the Uranus influence, but they like to keep their own distance and they like to be loners sometimes. When you think of celebrities like Jesse Jackson, John Lennon, and others, Libra twos in this period have to be careful with their tongues. Their tongues can be very sharp, cutting, and critical. So although they love peace, they will almost do anything to achieve it 
And that may include actually not being peaceful and being very aggressive or dominant in order to try to achieve the harmony that they want. Jackson Brown and Bob Geldof are some musicians that are born during this period. And this period, again, because of the Aquarius influence, can produce some really highly intelligent Libra people. Libra twos can be very fair, just, and agreeable, and really, really like to help others in an intellectual fashion. They should be careful to maintain some distance and recharge when they're giving too much to others, especially intellectually, and that can really throw them off mentally, throw their scales off. October 11th to the 18th or 19th is the third period of Libra, and this is the week of theater, and this is a Mercury subruled influence. So we have Venus ruler and we have Mercury subruler. People born in this decanate can be very theatrical and can be very showy. Almost like a Leo, they can thrive on applause, but really what they like is their ideas are so strong and so driving that they really want to lead a group intellectually. And Aries might want to lead a group by sheer personality and will and just by a presence of self. But Libra really does it with an intellectual and a mental bent. And Librans can be very sharp and piercing in this decanate, the third decanate of Libra. Librans born in this decanate can be very hard driving and very ambitious, but they can also be distant and cool. So they're sort of hard to figure out in the sense that there's this showy theatrical side and then there's this cool detached side. And because Libra is the scales, it kind of goes up and down depending on their environment and the people that they're with. A Libra three musician example is Daryl Hall of the famed duo Hall & Oates. Daryl is an amazing singer, songwriter, guitarist, multi-instrumentalist that has given the duo Hall & Oates its signature sound, refinement, and popularity. A song called One on One is very, very Libran and of course is very Libra three with the Mercury subruled influence in terms of being creative, clever, and very thoughtful. He says, I'm tired of playing on the team. Ooh, it seems I don't get time out anymore. No one even trying to score. I can feel the magic of your touch. A little bit means so much. Time out is what I'm here for. So Dare Hall is a really, really good example of a suave, smooth, refined, and very thoughtful and intelligent singer and songwriter and he's able to be personal, and he's also able to be a little impersonal and distant at the same time. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and talking about Libra and what motivates Libra. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And let me know what kind of videos you want for the remaining part of the spring and upcoming summer. Until the next time, stay safe and be yourself.